One of the problems I had when I was trying to get started uh, getting pine straw up was to get it to rake and I tried various methods with a wheel type rake that I could build and uh, I couldn't find anything that would work that I could build. Uh, the, the rake part there itself with the fingers on it, I've used it in various situations. I tried to use it with wheels. I never could make it work. I stumbled upon the idea of putting it on the front of that tractor and uh, it does an excellent job that way. Um, <clears throat> for a lifting mechanism, I don't know if you can see it in, in the video or not, but I've got one uh, pulley at the bottom, two pulleys at the top. Let me walk back around. And then a rope that you pull uh, with snatch blocks, and that's what raises and lowers, the, lowers it to the ground. Uh, there's two different loops tied in this rope. You'll notice one is to uh, completely raise it. And the other one, the second one, let me back up now, that makes it float on the ground. In other words, it's right at ground level, but it doesn't bind and sink. Uh, if ground's unlevel and you're really uh, having some up and down, you actually can take it loose and hold you, hold you, hold the end of that rope with your fingers and raise and lower it as it needs to. And uh, it, it, you push the, the straw up in a pile uh, with that rake, and then you pull the baler along bes up beside it when you get through raking, and um, you fill the baler up, bale right there when you get through, you, you have a pile right there of bales that you take out and you stack them and load them, and then uh, next week we're going to buy another rake We've already got it ordered, uh, a, a wheel type rake that you pull behind and it'll, it'll speed the raking up even more. What we'll do is, is we will uh, pull it up in windrows and then we will take this uh, rake here and push those windrows from one end to the other up in piles. So that's what we're looking at the next thing we're going to do.